Hi lovely people! Welcome and welcome back to my channel. In this video of my revisiting series, where I take a look back at the careers of actors and artists who are no longer as active as they once were in the prime of their careers, we are going to revisit the career of the actress Christian Wilson. I recently came across a few photos of Christian and it made me wonder what the actress is up to in recent years. So I wanted to highlight some of her most notable roles that you may have forgotten or did not know she was in. So let's get started. Christian Wilson was born on September 4, 1969, and raised in Chelmsford, Massachusetts. During her teenage and young adult years in Massachusetts, Christian became a trained dancer, in which she was able to work and perform with a leading dance education institution in New England, the Boston Ballet. Christian later attended Syracuse University, where she earned her Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in musical theater, which marked the beginning of her acting career. During her junior year in undergrad, she actually took some time off to join the West Side Story National Tour, where she was able to play the role of Anita. In 1992, Christian made her film debut in the post-apocalyptic science fiction film Prototype. That same year, Christian became the primary and most recognizable host on the Comedy Central show Stand Up Stand Up. The show ran from 1992 to 1995 and followed various comedians in different cities as they performed their stand-up routines. As a host, Christian was able to showcase her humor, charisma, and charming personality as she playfully introduced the skits and comedians throughout her three years serving as host on the show. Well, I think it's the little things. That familiar old chair in the living room, the smell of apple pie cooling on the kitchen window, Dad's copy of Swank magazine in his underwear drawer, Mom singing a simple tune while she darns a sock, Grandpa out in the garden burying another drifter. These are the things that make a home. For more, let's watch Damon Williams, Reggie McFadden, Greer Barnes, and Jeff Stilson. In 1993, Christian appeared in the comedy film Who's the Man as a character Maria, which also featured cameos from rap and hip-hop artists such as Busta Rhymes, Queen Latifah, and Run DMC. The following year, she appeared in New York Undercover as Eileen Plachette in the episode Eyewitness Blues. In 1995, Christian made the move to New York where she was able to land a part in the movie Tyson. Aside from the recently released Hulu limited series Mike starring Trevante Rhodes, Tyson was the first biographical project about the legendary heavyweight boxer Mike Tyson. In the 1995 HBO film, Mike Tyson was played by Michael J. White and Christian played actress and Mike's wife at the time, Robin Givens. The movie was based off of the book Fire and Fear, the inside story of Mike Tyson by former boxer Jose Torres. Following the release of the movie, Christian was also featured in a Head & Shoulders shampoo commercial. By 1996, Christian was cast in the CBS drama series Matt Waters, which starred talk show host Montel Williams as the titular character. In the show, Williams played a retired naval officer who returns to his hometown after the death of his brother to teach science at a high school he attended 25 years prior. Christian played Nicole Moore, who is a fellow teacher who tries to help Waters adjust to teaching the nonchalant students at the school. Although the show was launched as a mid-season replacement, the hour-long drama was canceled after just six episodes after low and unpromising viewership. That same year, Christian starred in a couple of movies, by starring in the Spike Lee comedy film, Girl 6. She followed up that film by starring in the independent comedy movie, The Pompatus of Love. She played the love interest of John Cryer's character, Mark, by playing Natasha. In late 1996, Christian played Dr. Tracy Flynn, a physical therapist in the cop action comedy film, Bulletproof, starring Damon Wayans and Adam Sandler. Her final film in 1996 became her second Spike Lee movie she starred in, in which she played Shelley Maxwell. The drama film Get on the Bus was about an eclectic group of African-American men who boarded a bus to attend the Million Man March that took place in Washington, D.C. on October 16, 1995. In 1998, Christian began starring in probably one of her most noteworthy roles by being cast in the fantasy comedy film Dr. Doolittle starring Eddie Murphy. The movie was based on the children's stories by Hugh Lofting, starting with the story of Dr. Doolittle about John Little, who discovers he has the unique ability to communicate with animals. In the movie, Christian plays Dr. Doolittle's wife, Lisa, who was also the mother of their children, played by Kyla Pratt and Raven Simone. 
The first movie went on to gross $294 million in the box office and also featured a highly successful soundtrack in which it peaked at number four on the Billboard 200 chart and was also certified two times platinum in addition to featuring its only charting single, Are You That Somebody by Aaliyah. In the years following, Christian was featured in movies such as Hall of Maria alongside Damon Wayans for a second time, the movie The Photographer, and the fantasy adventure film Dungeons and Dragons based off of the video game. Christian played the character Norda in the film. Although the movie was a box office failure, the movie was the biggest budget independent film ever made at the time of its release. Following the success of Dr. Doolittle, it led to the sequel Dr. Doolittle 2 released in 2001 in which Christian reprised her role as Lisa. A year later, Christian was cast in George Clooney's directorial debut for the film Confessions of a Dangerous Mind which was about the game show host Chuck Barris' 1984 autobiography in which Barris claimed to have once been an assassin for the CIA, all while he conducted his hosting duties. Christian starred as Loretta, alongside Drew Barrymore, Sam Rockwell, and Julia Roberts. Throughout the next couple of years, Christian made a couple TV appearances in the shows Crossing Jordan, My Wife and Kids, and the show The District, in which she played Kendall Truman in nine episodes before starring in the Disney Channel original movie Twitches in 2005. Christian played Miranda, the mother of the twin witches played by Tia and Tamara Maori, who discover upon their 21st birthday that they are witches and their biological ancestry and magical powers come from the enchanted kingdom of Coventry. This movie, as well as the sequel, Twitches 2, released in 2007, in which Christian reprised her role, are by far my favorite Disney Channel original movies. Whenever it aired on Disney Channel, I always look forward to watching it. And to this day, I still make it a tradition to watch it on the days leading up to Halloween every year. From 2006 to 2011, Christian wrapped up playing Lisa in the third and final film in the series, Dr. Doolittle 3. She was later featured in the sports drama film, Crossover the movie Soccer Mom, before making her final on-screen appearance in the sci-fi film Mega Python vs. Gatoroid in 2011 as Barbara Fine. Since then, Christian has been very private and inactive in the film and TV industry since her retirement from acting. While very little information is known about her and what she's up to now, she currently resides in LA with her three children and her husband Martin Astles, who is a makeup artist in the film industry. The two met and got married around the time Dungeons and Dragons was released, which is a movie Martin also worked on. I always felt Christian had such a recognizable face and was featured in several projects I have seen over the years, so I thought it would be a nice trip down memory lane to highlight not only her beauty, but her impact in the industry. Let me know in the comments what your favorite role or project from Christian is. Were there any roles that you were surprised that she was in? Let me know what other careers of artists and actors you would like me to revisit. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to check out my Monica Calhoun revisiting video. Thank you all for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.